With commercial rockets launching almost every week, NASA is busier than ever as off-world exploration is becoming more and more a reality. Over the past few years, NASA has been interested in 3D printing and its applications for the final frontier. From satellites, to rockets, to food, and more, let's take a look at how NASA is using 3D printing and what it could bring to space exploration. In 2014, NASA dipped its toe into 3D printing by sending a 3D printer to the International Space Station to see if it could successfully function in microgravity. During the experiment, the printer produced dozens of plastic parts, which researchers analyzed and compared with those made on Earth. The experiment served as the first successful step towards making the space station a print-on-demand machine shop. By reducing the need for an inventory of costly spares, the space station could print the parts needed for repairs and even test out upgraded components using designs created on Earth. In 2017, NASA selected Redwire to prototype a new in-space manufacturing system called FabLab, a multi-material 3D printer that would allow NASA crews in deep space to manufacture tools and components using different materials such as metal, plastic, ceramics, and electronics. Since then, the prototype has successfully printed over 200 plastic parts aboard the ISS. Finally, last month, NASA gave the go-ahead funding to finish the design of the printer in hopes of using its full capabilities in real applications. With the increase of off-world missions, the cost of launching rockets are increasing as well. To curb the costs and turnaround time, some commercial companies are experimenting with 3D printing in their rockets, and NASA is no different. In fact, NASA was the first to test 3D printed rocket components when in 2013, they successfully made a laser printed rocket injector and tested it successfully against a traditionally made injector. The investment into 3D printed rocket components ramped up in 2020 with the establishment of NASA's Rapid Analysis and Manufacturing Propulsion Technology Project. The purpose of the project was to advance development of an additive manufacturing technique which involved blown powder to 3D print rocket engine parts using metal powder and lasers. The fabrication method has many advantages, including the ability to produce large pieces and very complex parts, including engine nozzles with internal coolant channels. The project was such a success that NASA had rocket engine design firm Aerojet Rocketdyne use 3D printed parts in some of its engine components for the Artemis 1 launch. The Artemis program is intended to re-establish a human presence on the moon and to go many steps further including establishing lunar colonies. To build those colonies, NASA turned to 3D printing company ICON to develop construction technologies that could help build infrastructure such as landing pads, habitats, and roads on the lunar surface. Part of the relevant environment additive construction technology project the $57 million award will support development of ICON's Olympus construction system, which is designed to use local resources on the Moon and Mars as building materials. According to NASA, on-surface construction of infrastructure is a critical capability of the sustainable phase of the Artemis program and eventual substantial human presence on Mars. It provides the ability to create protective shelters on demand using local resources. ICON recently 3D printed a 1,700 square foot simulated Martian habitat called Mars Dune Alpha that will be used during NASA's Crew Health and Performance Analog mission starting in 2023. During this mission, a volunteer crew will spend one year in the habitat with conditions similar to that of the Red Planet. However, before humans reach Mars, NASA is continuing its probe missions to investigate the planet using rovers. Among them, the Perseverance rover, launched in 2020, carried 11 3D printed metal parts and tools. These allowed for low mass and high precision targeting not achievable with conventional manufacturing. Interestingly enough, Perseverance was not the first rover bound from Mars that featured 3D printed parts. The first one called Curiosity, back in 2012, landed on Mars with a 3D printed ceramic part inside its sample analysis instrument. Other areas NASA is experimenting with 3D printing include exploring the possibility of printing food during deep space missions with the proper nutrients for its crew. 
and 3D printed chainmail that can be printed in metal to protect astronauts and spacecraft from harmful impacts. For some time now, 3D printing has been considered to be one of the leading technologies for applications related to space exploration, and that theory has been reconfirmed recently as NASA announced that out of its two new space technology research institutes, one will be dedicated entirely to the understanding and rapid certification of metal parts using 3D printing. As you can see, 3D printing is a big part of space exploration, and perhaps the most exciting part of 3D printing for space is that you don't necessarily know what you might need to print. However, additive manufacturing allows you to create your own solutions on demand. Thanks for watching.